Hello everyone, my name is Lizelle Jones, I'm from Bumalanga. Um, okay, I'm here today to talk about a few paintings of mine that I did in Mujik. Um Okay, I don't know where to start, I think it's best, like if, if you guys want to like ask questions and all of that, please do, because I don't know where to start in explaining everything. Okay, this painting over here, okay, this is my Mujik painting. Um, no, it's, it's, it's like this. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this is my metric painting. The theme was fragility, so I based it on people. There are a lot of broken people out there, guys, and the fact that we are so unaware of it, it hurts because we don't talk about our emotions most of the time. So, yeah, I based it on emotions. As you can see, there's like a dark cloud covering her and all of that. It's just fragility in general. It's based when it comes to emotions, spirit, like spirituality and all of that, yeah. So my second painting um, that I did in the trick was this one, a reader is a leader. A reader, a reader is a leader is another way to show that leaders out there, they don't just become leaders or born leaders, they read. The knowledge behind all the leadership skills that they have is acquired by the type of books that they go through. Now, in order for you to level up as a leader, you need to level up with your books. So the more you read and the knowledge that you acquire, the more people will actually like um, stand with you in like every situation and all of that. Yeah. So my next painting is this one. This is one of my recent paintings. I did it last year towards the end. Um, I painted Amanda. The point. <laughs> She's like one of my personal favorites, like personal favorites. Um, she just has this thing, you know. She's sweaty. She just has that feel. <laughs> yeah. So I look up to her a lot, and yeah, for, for for some reason I don't know why, but like when I speak to sweaty or anything, people are like, no man, Amanda the point, na na, you sound yeah. like her. Like no, my God. <laughs> so um, okay. Based, okay, my other painting. Um, okay, this one was, okay, the theme, this is my metric painting, the theme was clothes. Okay. So clothes, um, I tried to put a formal, a formal um, way to it and our whole denim and young vibes, you know. <laughs> yeah, so um, I tried to, you know, show the formal side of it and the whole um, denim side of it of like it's like showing two generations at the same time us you know denim jackets um you know AJ style <laughs> and the whole formal part of it yeah AJ, then yeah then the last painting is this one this painting is also my mystery painting it is called uh, the theme is called mayhem and movement so i based it on emotions it was like my final exam, so it was like the final painting for Madrid. So what was happening was that like we were given that topic and we were given 24 hours to paint it. You know, with under supervision guys. <laughs> Eyes on you, busy painting. So yeah, um, uh, what I did was that um, the whole mayhem and movement part now is that I also based it on emotions. The, the thing is with people is that we ignore our emotions, whether it be depression, insecurities, frustrations, a lot of things we tend to ignore it, and when it piles up, that's when we like that is when we explode. Mm -hmm. And when we explode, people just look at us like, wait, whoa, 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 what's going on? She's psycho yeah. now. You see? <laughs> yeah. So with this one, um, as you can see here, I had like I put it borders of different people in a spiral effect to show that they're sinking in Whoa. yeah so <laughs> <That's dark. laughs> yeah so um this one is confusion confusion your confusion when it gets to you guys your it's it's a really messed up thing hey like it's it's, it's just really messed up so um this side it's frustration like a lot of people are just frustrated out there and the only way that they can put it out there is to put it on people 
like you don't go around being frustrated on people no guys like if you like if you are frustrated talk to us talk to us like we have ears guys talk <laughs> yeah instead of going around bullying other people so with this one it's anger anger most people out there the way they approach anger is quite quite insane guys like for some reason i just feel like that's the reason why people out there just go crazy like the things that they pile up inside it hurts a lot because they just put it out in jail with certain people that don't even deserve that type of anger so this side is also insecurities guys i don't know how to put this man it's like okay we live in a world of perfection and like mostly media is the most common factor to actually put out that perfection when okay as women like okay I'll, i would say that women are more or less in like insecure i don't know about guys <laughs> i don't know about guys but i think it, it's a two-way <laughs> it's a two-way um um thingy so yeah we live in a world of perfection shown in a certain manner and i think that needs to end like i i think that needs to end really soon because you find people killing themselves because they think they're not perfect enough that is really sad guys like that is really sad so I live by a quote by imperfections redefined. We redef like we redefine like we redefine guys <laughs> imperfections and the way you see it. Instead of you hiding them and changing them, why don't you embrace them? That, that is the only thing that makes us unique. Yeah. That is the only sure. thing that makes us unique. So yeah. Thank you. This is <laughs>